Hi there. Welcome. Hello. This is Patty Bennett. How are you doing today? I am really, really excited for this live video. You might be joining me live on Friday, March 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, or you might be watching the replay. That's totally fine. You might even be watching this on my blog or Facebook at a later time. That is amazing as well. So welcome. I am just hopping on this live video just a moment early to make sure that technology is working at its finest because yesterday um, things didn't go quite as planned and that happens sometimes with technology. But I am hoping that today it is all going well. So if you're joining me live, you can comment and hi, Andrea, Karen. Oh my goodness, I see so many people hopping on. Fran, Rosemary, hello, welcome, welcome. If you're joining me live, you're welcome to give me a quick comment. Let me know that you're here. So today we are going to be using this brand new paper. It is called Ornate Garden. It's from a new suite. And if you can hang out with me all the way to the end, I will actually be showing you all the new products. And I die cut samples using all of the new dyes as well. And I've got more samples to show you. So if you can hang out all the way to the end, you'll get to see all of that. And if you're just here to see the fun fold card that I talked about, that is totally fine as well. You can just watch that. So welcome again. I think I'm still just about a moment early on the um, on the live, uh, the 10 o'clock go live time, if you want to call it that. But I just wanted to make sure that all my technology was working and it looks like everything's great. So if you want to make this with me today, grab a sheet of designer paper. It can be any designer paper, doesn't matter, 12 by 12. If all you have is a six by 12, that will work as well. Grab your trimmer or at least something that you can score with because you're gonna to need to cut and score. And then a bone folder is gonna be very helpful as well. So if you have those supplies, that will be great and I can show you how to make these fun fold cards. I'm actually going to show you four different ways to make this card just with one set of cutting and scoring dimensions and we're only scoring it three times so it is just super quick and easy which is really great. So if you have visited my blog today pattystamps.com there are photos of all of these cards on there and there is a free download. So you can go there later if you haven't already seen that today. You can download the PDF. All of the dimensions, cutting and scoring, are there. So that's just kind of a quick overview of what we're going to do today. And since I think we are officially at the top of the hour, let me just reintroduce myself. My name is Patty Bennett. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I have been a demonstrator for almost 25 years. This June will be 25 years. Can you even believe that? Does that seem like amazingly crazy? It does to me, because I don't know, that's a long time to have a job, right? <laughs> but I love this. I love sharing. I love creating. That's why I do what I do. And in the process, it's wonderful because I have been blessed with a successful business. And so I am just very, very thankful to Stampin' Up! and to all of you who are watching, to my customers, to my team, to all of my friends. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for spearing me on, cheering me on, getting me excited about everything. So Today we are going to be making a fun fold card, but we're making four different designs from one pattern. So if you're just joining me, you can grab a sheet of designer paper and your trimmer, or at least something to cut and score with, and a bone folder. That is what you will find that you'll need to make this. So if you would like to do that and make it with me, you can. Over at pattystamps.com today, you're going to find this free PDF download that you can just print and it'll give you all of the scoring marks and the um, 
designer paper size that you will need. That's all you're going to need for this. I'm going to show you first the cards that inspired this. I went to a retreat, a four-day stamping retreat in February down in Southern California, hosted by Amy Combs, and we made this card right here with this particular pattern that I'm going to show you today. And I just loved this. I thought this was a wonderful way to showcase designer paper. And you can see both sides, of course, of the designer paper. And it wasn't overwhelming. It just kind of gives you a peek of the patterns. And I just thought this was amazing. I loved this. So this is what we did with the Lily Impressions paper. Now, if you're watching this before March 31st, this is a free celebration gift choice, this paper. And actually, these dies are as well, as well as the Lily stamp set. So they are all available currently as a free gift. And, and that's with your purchase online. After that, then this is no longer available. So after I got home, um, made this, I wanted to show my friend Cindy. So, so we made a similar card. We just used a different DSP to make it. Okay, so same idea, but different designer paper from the same pack. Basically the same kind of idea for embellishing. And then I got to thinking, I bet there's other ways that we can actually do this. So here's what I came up with. When, and I'm going to show you how to make these, but I just want to give you an overview. I kind of, I love the overview. I like to know where I'm going before I jump into something. So hang on. If you just want to see how to do this, you'll see it in a minute. So this card is one that I made with the Ornate Garden Suite and the Ornate Garden Paper. This shows you, if you simply just cut and score the paper, this is what it would look like if you attach the DSP to just a quarter panel of cardstock. So it's going to look like that. And you're going to see the maximum amount of designer paper. You would also have uh, what I would like to call the maximum amount of real estate if you wanted to put messages, photos, um, you know, anything you want in there, you'd have lots of space. So that would be the first way. The second way would be if you put adhesive in here and you shut this, you're going to get this card. So then you have this flap in the middle. And then you only see a little bit of one pattern and then you see more of the other pattern. And again, this is with the Ornate Garden Suite. So then a third way would be if you, let me go back to this one and show you, if you actually seal this part shut and you seal this part shut, then you're going to get basically just a flap that opens, almost like a regular card, but you've got both patterns showing and this little peekaboo into the inside. And this features the Ornate Garden Suite as well, the dies. I'm going to show you those at the end. So that's the third way. So one, two, three. And then the fourth way would be if you turn it horizontal and you actually seal up the sides. I used tear and tape just so it would be real sturdy and stay shut. Then you're going to get two pockets. So I've put a die cut back here that you could um, write on or stamp on. And then the front pocket would hold a gift card. So that's four ways that you can make cards out of this one fold. So now I know you're dying to see how simple and amazing this is, right? I have not used this pattern yet in my cards, so I've chosen that one to use today. I do want to mention that if you are doing a vertical orientation, when you cut your strip of paper, so let's say this is the one that we were going to use. Oh, it actually happens to be the same one. If your pattern has an up and down, which to me, I know this is pretty busy. You could probably turn this anyway, 
But to my eye, this does have a bit of an up and down orientation. So this one then, you would want to use it as a vertical card. If I turned this one, I mean, I guess this one's okay. It's pretty, like I said, it's busy enough that you could turn this one horizontal. But did I have... I may have left that one upstairs. There was another pattern that really didn't look right when you turn it. So just be mindful of if you're going to cut your strip of paper, do I want it to be this kind where I'm going to fold it up this way? Or is it going to be this pattern I'm going to fold it this way? Just, just something to think about. And it, it's probably a lot more important with other patterns and not so much with a busier floral pattern. This one, you know, really could go either way. Okay, and so if you're joining me late, I just want to remind you um, at my blog today, pattystamps.com, you'll find this free download. It has the measurements, so you don't have to memorize this. I'm just going to hold it up, though, if you wanted to take a screenshot or pause it. You're welcome to do that. So our paper is going to be five and a quarter inches by 11 and three quarter. It's just less than half a sheet. And then we just have three score marks. That's all there is to this. So since we do need to measure larger than six inches, if you have the new paper trimmer, you'll need to pull the arm out. So five and a quarter, I'm gonna measure that first. Trim that, and then 11 and 3 quarters. So it's just a quarter inch off of this part. And you could always save that and decorate. You know how we are. We can always make use, right? <laughs> and then you're scoring at 1 and 3 quarters. So just make sure your cutting blade is out of the way. So scoring at 1 and 3 quarters four and three quarters, and seven and three quarters. So just three score marks, and that's all you need. We're done with that. Then I like to use my bone folder because it really gives you a nice crisp score. So then I fold that little flap this direction. We're just doing like an accordion fold. So we're just going back and forth at each score mark. And there are your flaps. That's all there is to that. I decided to look at the back of the package of the Ornate Garden paper and I pulled out a few colors that were listed. Although Crushed Curry is not listed, but if you have this paper, if you're a demonstrator and you've pre-ordered, you're going to notice that it lists the color of bumblebee. That is something new. <laughs> so that's a new in color. They gave us a little hint. And since it's fairly close to crushed curry, I'm guessing by the look of the colors in these papers, that's what I pulled out. I think, I think I would try, hmm, I don't know. Let me try the olive. That's mint macaron. Oh, I kind of like the olive. I kind of like that. Let's try the Calypso Coral. It's going to be a lot brighter. Um, that's pretty. That would make it much more springy. I actually think possibly Flirty Flamingo would have been nice. I did not cut that, but I should have because that would have been nice with this. I think I'll go with the olive on this one. And then all you would do is to put your adhesive back here and attach it to your card base. This is just the four and a quarter by five and a half. And then you can decide, is my card going to open up all the way like this? Am I going to seal this flap shut so that I have sort of this flap in the middle? Am I going to also seal that one shut so that it just opens like that? Or am I gonna turn it seal it down the two sides, and have pockets. Ta-da! Do you love this? I think this is just so amazing. So now that you've seen how to do it, I'll just run through these again and show you. 
So there are the folds left completely open. The second one would be sealing this middle section shut so that you have flaps. The third way would be sealing all of them together so that you just basically have a folding card. And then the fourth way would be to turn it horizontal, seal the sides, and you have pockets. So do you love it? I love this. I just think this is amazing. I love this so much. I think it's so cool. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, but stick around because I'm going to show you all these products and I'm going to show you uh, what all of the dyes look like in this. Oh, and I have um, another sample, actually two more samples to show you. So that's just the fun fold. I wanted to show you that first and give you a glimpse into how that works. And again, you can download the free PDF at pattystamps.com. And then we're going to talk about the rest of the suite. And of course, the phone is going to ring because I'm on a live. But luckily, hubby and son are home, so hopefully one of them will answer it. That's just the nature of a live, right? <laughs> um, hmm. Somebody's saying I'm not centered in the frame. Can somebody else let me know if if I'm okay? Is is there something wrong with the the video? Please let me know. I don't know. It, it's it seems like it's okay to me. I hope so. I hope so. Somebody let me know if everything's all right, please. So the um, Ornate Garden Suite is a pre-order for demonstrators this month and then available to everyone starting April 1st. And this is actually going to be in the new Stampin' Up! catalog and it will be available for the coming year. So you don't have to purchase it right away, but if you're ready for something new, something fun, something springy, flowers, the whole bit, then this is something that um, you might want to purchase. So, um, oh, thank you. Okay, Carolyn says everything is fine. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. After they said that, I noticed. It's not dead center. Um, okay, I'm sorry about not being dead center. It looks okay on my iPad, but okay. Um, I'll just proceed, and hopefully it's going to look all right. So the suite is comprised of several different parts, and the great thing is you don't have to purchase the entire thing. You can if you want to. If you would like to spend the $136 and get everything with one ordering code, super easy. It's kind of like the one-click ordering on Amazon, which we all love, right? But you can pick and choose. You can get whatever you want in here. So there is a bundle called Ornate Style, and it has this set of dies and this stamp set, and I'm going to show you those. And then there is another bundle called Ornate Thanks, and it has this amazing set, which you may have noticed on my samples. I used that quite a bit to build some different messages. So these border dies, and then there is also the designer paper, which we just used today. Down at the bottom here, there is an embossing folder, and I'm gonna show you some tips for using that in a minute. There is a two pack of ribbon, and gold gilded gems. So I will show you all of those. But that's what's comprised in this whole suite. And you can pick and choose what you would like. If you are a demonstrator, you're ordering that right now if you'd like. If you are a customer, it will be available April 1st. Okay. So let's look at the pieces of this suite. And I want to show you some tips for the dies and the sets. So the two sets and the two sets of dies. And I'm going to pull these out and show you. I always like to go ahead and die cut one of each when I get a new set, just so I can kind of see what is, um, how they all work and how they work together or how I could layer them, etc. All right, so the first one, let me just check what goes in which bundle. So this set of dies 
is with this stamp set if you wanted to purchase it as a bundle and save the 25%. So let's look at that first. If you love to color, this one is amazing. And an easy way to color this is you could always stamp it and just sort of pull some color with a blender pen. I don't mean a stamp and blend, but a blender pen. That would be a great way to just do that really quickly. So that's just an option for you. Let's look at these dies. Now they don't come on magnet sheets. I use magnet sheets to store mine and I get them at Stampin' Storage. You can always link to that through my blog at pattystamps.com. In the left column, there's a picture of my Stampin' Blends storage from Stampin' Storage. If you click that, it'll take you to their site. So let's look at these dies. I wanted to show you that some of them do something unexpected. So you have the big die. Okay, that's this one. Love this. Then the next one is this one. Absolutely love that. How pretty, right? Then you have this size. So that's kind of like three graduating sizes that could be layered. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments. Um, okay, yeah, I'm sorry if it's not centered. It's I, I'm seeing it differently than I think some people are seeing it. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so three sizes that you could layer. Let me just give you a tip. When I am running these intricate dies through my Big Shot, and you may have a different die cutting machine, that's totally fine. Okay, normally you would think to put, put it on here like this and put your plates and run it through. What I find very helpful when you have a lot of intricate work is once I get it where I want it, I use a little post-it note to hold it down and I flip it over in my machine and I die cut it. I actually use the um, the Big Shot platform with the thin die adapter. We sold that for a while and run it through. And these are just run through once and they come out beautifully. So that's a tip and that's what works for me. I know that um, different um, big shots or different die cutting machines are going to be different, but that's what I found helpful. So I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so now the little one, I thought it was going to cut out a piece, but it doesn't. It actually just cuts holes. So if you wanted this to be um, a piece like this, then you're going to have to use a punch or maybe a rectangular die cut or an oval or something, and you're going to have to punch that out. But that's what that piece does. And the same with the center piece here. It just cuts holes. So the, the two that come in the very center of the sets just cut holes. Okay? So that's that. And then there are three more. So we have this large, and I love this. I love those little holes. Isn't it? It's like an eyelet almost with the stitching. Love that. And this does fit on a quarter sheet. It's almost an optical illusion because that looks so long, but it does fit on a quarter sheet. So you don't have to waste any um, extra cardstock on die cutting that one. And then we have this one, isn't that beautiful? And then there's a stitched rectangle, a long skinny one. I imagine this layers with some of the other ones that are in other sets. Uh, I didn't actually get that far, but, but that's that set. I'm gonna set this aside and show you the other set. So the other bundle, it's called Ornate Thanks, I believe. Let me just, yep, yeah, Ornate Thanks. So that's this one. And it has lots of different pieces in it as well. And I found some tips and some interesting things about this set. So let me show you this one. So this top one completely cuts out an entire piece like that. You can see that. Okay, so the whole thing just cuts out. You could color these, you can cut them in other colors, layer them, etc. 
That's that one. This one, if you just like take a strip like this and cut it, you're going to get this. But what you're going to notice is it's cut away on one side, but not the other. So what I found was that if I laid it on a piece of a quarter sheet of cardstock and cut it, then you're going to get this beautiful border. Isn't that really cool? Love this. I didn't pop out every little piece, but you get that idea, right? So two different ways that you might want to use that. I think the three little flowers are self-explanatory. You can die cut those. This piece with these two little extra things here, it actually die cuts one side. And if you look really closely, right along here, you can see that there's like an extra little lip. Um, I guess that's what you'd call it. That's going to actually die cut. So when you put it on like this, it's going to die cut that side. It'll die cut all the openings, but it doesn't die cut along there. If you want to completely die cut it like a border, then you use this piece and you line that up and then you would have an actual border similar to this. Okay, hope that is making sense. I love the versatility of this. Then we have two more long pieces, these two strips. And I just took a strip I wanted to see what this did. So imagine this is all back together. So when you lay this down, this scallopy side is actually going to cut and then it does not cut on the stitched side. So this is a nice detail for the edge of a project. Love this. And the same thing with this one. Okay, so this one the scallopy side will actually cut, the other side doesn't. So this is something where you would, let's say on maybe on here, that you would maybe want to tuck that behind if you're just cutting a piece and then you have a beautiful little border, or you could just die cut the edge of your card. So either way, very versatile on this. Love these, amazing, 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 amazing. Do you love these? I just think these are like, yeah, amazing. Totally amazing. Oh yes, okay, I see some people saying you love this. Yes, okay. Alrighty, so that is an overview of those. Let me show you the embossing folder. Let's see what the official name, oh, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Ornate floral. I like to use my brother uh, P Touch and label my embossing folders. So that's the embossing folder. I know it's a little hard to see. So I embossed some pieces with it so that you could see. So let's see. Yeah, I think you can see that. You have plain white cardstock that I embossed it. And then this is actually white cardstock, but I just used a sponge and ink and I just rubbed over the whole thing. So look at the difference, white and then just sponging some color. I love that. And then this one is Flirty Flamingo, and I just sponged on half of it so that you could see that. You can just see a, a little difference there. So this piece is actually just a folded card, and I put the front flap in the embossing folder up to the fold, ran it through so it just embosses the front. And then I sponged on the bottom part. I think that was crushed curry. I added just a little strip of the designer paper. And it was actually the strip left over from making our fun fold card when you cut the whole card down to the, um, the five and a quarter, then you have a strip. And so, yeah, I used that up. This is one of the die cuts we just looked at. I used some of the ribbon in this suite and just added a sentiment. And then these little gold pieces are these new gilded gems. Oh, 
So that's what I did with that. And then here's another idea using the embossed piece. And this is that beautiful die that we looked at. So hang on, I'm gonna grab it. I think I'm gonna grab it. Where did I put it? Hang on, it's hiding. There we go. So this piece, when remember I showed you when you die cut it, that it cuts one edge and not the other. So on here, I slipped it under this embossed piece. So then you have this pretty little lacy, delicate edge on top of the card. And I could have cut this back so that it peeks into the inside, but I liked the white on white. I really thought that was pretty. Thank you so much. Everybody is saying you like these. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like them too. I think these are just, just amazing products to work with. So glad that we have this fun suite. Here's a look at the ribbon. So I believe, let me look for sure. I believe it's Calypso Coral and Old Olive. Oh no, Terracotta Tile and Old Olive. But it definitely goes with Calypso Coral. That definitely is something you could mix and match with this. So there's uh, just sort of an overview of what I was playing with. And then we'll just bring the fun fold cards back in hope you enjoyed this idea. I just, I really love this. I think that this whole suite is amazing. If you would like to join Stampin' Up! and get this ahead of April 1st, you can do that. I would love to have you on my team. And if you need more information about purchasing, you can use the contact me button at pattystamps.com. I blog there every day. I always have some fun new projects for you and I love to share. So Thank you again for joining me. I hope this was something fun. Don't forget to download the free PDF at pattystamps.com today if you would like to print out these dimensions for the cutting and scoring on our project today. Thank you again. I will see you again soon and stay safe. And remember, we're together at home <laughs> during this shelter in place time. And I hope that you're all staying safe. I appreciate you joining me and I will see you next time. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.